Okay, my next product is kind of like he said, it's not a bad product, it's just not for me. <laughs> like it was just not made for me. Like topping, it's just not, not for, for me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking not happening. <laughs> Don't even ask. I'm like, no. <laughs> Today we are going to do a best and worst purchases. Like I said before, <laughs> I'm not good at taking care of shit. No. And I thought it was a great idea. I fucking warned him and I said, don't do it, and here we are. I thought it was a great idea to get white acne sneakers. <laughs> Bitch, let me show you what they look like now. Bitch. <laughs> oh, it looks like them up. Because so, they sell things like this. They were cute once upon a time, but look at this. Ruined! Ruined. I literally puked oh, beet juice on it. Mm -hmm. I literally, they're scuffed to shit. They're just. It looks like I bought this from fucking spring. <laughs> spring shoes. Yeah. Do you know those people that always have clean looking new shoes? I feel like we're the only two. Everybody I know, <laughs> when they buy a white shoe, they're, I'm like, oh my god, are those new shoes? And they're like, no, these are like four years old. I'm like, what? And there's no scuff. It's just clean as fuck. Clean as shit. I mean, clean. Clean. Clean as clean and clear and under control. Yeah. Not like my skin. Yeah. Let's see if it's even online. Yeah, because these are kind of old. Yeah. These are some of the most heinous shoes I've ever seen in my life. I actually love them all. Honestly, they were like $600 on sale for $400. do not do it. You walk, and this goes like this. And it unsnaps. And your shoes just unsnap. You also have big feet. Yeah, so like maybe, normally maybe I got the wrong size. Maybe maybe if you have wide feet, these don't work for you. Love Acne. I support their whole brand. I love their stuff. So many things. I, th I think it's just you. It's just, like I said, personally to me, it's this good. is a worst purchase for me personally. Also, to go along with this, is this. Oh. Jason Mark Repel Premium Stain and Water Repellent. No. No, no, no. Don't listen to the sale people that say, oh, you can, this is the stuff that you can drop chocolate sauce on your shoe and it won't even stain. Someone walked on my shoe and it stained. I was literally trying to wipe it off and it was like, no, I'm here to stay. Don't get this. Don't. Trash, trash. My next worst one is, and this is also because I just don't wear it, and I honestly feel like it's like shit now. It is a Balenciaga bracelet. So this, oh! <laughs> oh my god, it was a bad impulse decision. Right, here's a weird thing. I feel like you've always wanted a bracelet like that, and once you got it, you were just like, oh, well, no. You're right. I've always wanted. You're like, it's kind of manly. Yeah. Yeah. It looks so, it looks very masculine when you wear it, to be honest. Very mask for mask. Mask for mascara. It's really cute on, I guess, like, it's not that I don't like wearing it, it's just, I don't reach for it. Because again, I don't have the most masculine style, I would say. Get in there. Find the hole. Ah. Uh, so it's, honestly, it's cute. Like, I, I wear this sometimes. So, I've no, had this- you don't. I don't, you really I don't. don't. <laughs> I'm like trying to make it whatever, I don't. I've had this for like almost a year and a half, maybe two. And I just don't love it. I don't know that this is online anymore. I can't honestly remember off the top of my head. I was either like three or four hundred. Yeah, I paid a lot of money for it just to sit in my room. I don't wear it. I whatever, should've... the box is cute, I say it's worth it. My next worst. Basically, like, I needed a, a backpack, like a gym bag, because I was literally putting that, like, the Philip Lim purse. I was yeah. shoving running shoes in there, and I was, it was gonna have the same fate as his wank bag. Everyone just needs a duck bag and a nice bag for going out, you know? Yeah. So, I was like, okay, a gym bag, cute gym bag, whatever. I have this weird love affair with Moschino. So weird. And I don't know why, because I am, like, the most boring person ever. No. And for, I feel like I am, but then you're, I... You're newfound tacky. Like, you're, I am you're newfound tacky. You're fucking tacky. I'm so tacky now. Yeah. I'm, like, Italian housewife yeah. tacky now. I got this Moschino backpack because this was my first Moschino purchase, actually. Um, I paid, I think, almost $800 for it. I think. 
Anyway, it is a really good bag. Like this, this, this nylon shit is thick as fuck. Only reason this is not a favorite of mine is because I want to put heavy shit in like leg weights and these things, and I can't really. Like I have to be smart because we go to the gym and he's like, I'm putting one leg weight in here and you're carrying one, I and I'm like, Why do you have a bag? I'm there shoving 30 pound dumbbells in my purse. I'm like, mm -hmm. if the whole thing was as thick as like the strap is, like the strap is so thick, is so thick, it would be great. But then all of a sudden, it's this little shit leather. Oh yeah, no. at the bottom. Is it super distressed? No, because you take care of it. It's like no, but it's, I feel it's like wrinkling. If you were putting heavy shit, oh, this, this would rip. This would rip. The circles would be like long. This would totally rip. Like my bitch right now. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> um, like even right here, to be honest, like because of having heavy stuff, oh, like it's stitching. like the stitching's kind of like pulling. So it's not. I love this backpack. I think it's so great. It's cute. It's boring as hell, and it's like it fits a shit ton of stuff. So now I use this when like I go away on weekends and I just shove a bunch of clothes in it. I can fit so much in it, but I can't fit anything heavy, so I only put clothes. So it's kind of inconvenient. It's yeah. more of like a fashion backpack, less of a c convenient. Yeah, I really thought for eight hundred dollars I was gonna get like a durable, a durable backpack. I should have just spent eight hundred more and gotten like a real thick ass Jumashi one that's like yeah, like you could literally. Bring a brick in there. A whole brick. Okay. And it's kind of random. <laughs> so are my Oreos. What the fuck is on the floor? Oh. What? <laughs> For those of you who had braces, you know how inconvenient flossing is. Uh, yeah, I remember. Literally like I a remember. 20 to 30 minute process. 2,000 years later. Not even kidding, going in between brackets being like... <laughs> Oh, 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 my funny bone! Ow! Oh my god! Ow. <laughs> oh. That really hurts. But, you know when you hit it and it feels like sand is just shooting everywhere? <laughs> Ow. Sand. Oh. So flossing. <laughs> flossing is so inconvenient. So I thought, mm, easy way out. These little... It's not gonna focus. It's not gonna focus, so whatever. So you pretty much just go like, put it between your teeth and That thick? Yeah, I thought it was a good idea. It literally, once again, beauty products that fucking ruined my life, cut between my gums, between each and every tooth. My gums were bleeding every time I would brush my teeth. So if you get these, just don't get these. <laughs> just throw them out before you cut all of your gums. I know it's so random, but I have a deep hate for these that I had to put it in here. Okay, my last favorite. Even though last so but not hard, least! This is my favorite purchase of all time. I have never purchased something this good in my life. If this thing stops one more time, I swear to fucking God. I'm gonna swan dive off this balcony. <laughs> yeah. I just remember being so exhausted and crabby from shopping. Yeah. I was in such a bad mood. I was I don't know about you guys, though. but like... When you shop every day, you kind of get tired. It's exhausting. Because it's like very mentally stimulating to look at everything. Like, ew, yes, 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 no, ew. My arm is tired from going like this. Yeah. In rats. It's just such a hard life. It's Times are tough. Very tough. <laughs> <laughs> Never been more tough. And this was an impulse buy. I ended up spending double what I wanted to spend on it because I was like, just so mad. Shoulders down. And I remember, oh, remember you were, <laughs> you were like, I was like, no. And you were like, get it. I was, I was like, you get it, you get it, you need it, you need it, get it. And he's so right. He's so right. I'm so good at convincing people. I should be selling you clothes. The thing is, I had actually wanted this for years, but I couldn't justify spending like 900 and something dollars yes. on this bracelet. Why? And then it happened, and then it, this, I wear this almost every single day. Um, it is a, G, oh, I didn't show it. It's a Givenchy. Um, sh little shark tooth bracelet. I literally wear it. Anyway, so it's like this little shark tooth. It's not gonna focus. It's not. It's just focusing on my acne. Don't focus on those ugly acne shoes I bought. You know, people who say that like, sh like shopping isn't going to make you happy. They don't know where to shop, clearly. Because yeah. it brings me internal happiness. Uh, honestly, like this is, every time I wear this, I'm just as happy as the day I bought it. I... It's been years, and it is the best purchase I've ever made in my life. So I, unlike Nicholas, You're literally yelling. So they need to hear us because we don't have a mic because we're ghetto. I used to buy all these expensive products, didn't really work that well. Half-assed work, 
But I found something that worked for me that is not very expensive. This is a brand I support very hard. And it is Lush. Lush, Lush, Lush. Oh my god. <laughs> so many of their shit. Like, their stuff literally works so good for me, to be honest. Like, it's all natural, apparently. I just don't know. I just don't, I just don't know anything about the brand, to be honest. I just, I just use it and it works for me and I just love it. And I just love it. And I just love it. It's just so good. <laughs> what a review. It's just so good. Oh. You should say how. I am. So Nicholas went to pee, but I need to say one more thing about these Lush products. When you bring five of these, you get a free face mask. Oh my god. They have these like fresh face masks. You get to choose and they're, they're like in a little refrigerator. So this concludes our best and worst. We did it. I have done it. Um, <laughs> why don't we, what are the time? <laughs> 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 these are like cute things we like. Hope you guys like them too. Let us know if you guys have any of these products. Yeah. If you what you like about them or don't like about what them. What you think about them. Um we'll actually read the comments. If you have a better version of the shit that we tried that doesn't work, let us know. Not with skincare, don't fucking tell me about that. I don't care, I'm not doing it. Um <laughs> I'll do it though. Yeah. Like our video or hate it. Let us know what you like or not like, things to improve on, because we're obviously new to the game here. Yeah. You know? Things can only get better from here. Yeah. Or worse. Or worse. <laughs> You'll see it all anyway. Right. You'll see You'll it. either see the rise or downfall of the sorority. Because um, if you don't like this, to be honest, we're going to do it again anyway. Because honestly, I'm down for anything. He's, like, I can convince him, but like, I'm literally down. He's down for everything. I'm crabby, so it takes me some time. But I always convince. We have a question. This is about the hair thing. It is called the Brazilian hair. Oh! <laughs> Is it a Brazilian blowout? Brazilian blowout. So we, if you know anything about this, my hair is so frizzy right now. Our hair, we're literally frizz queens. We go outside in the wind and we literally have <laughs> baby yeah. hair, baby hair. Yeah. I'm like, I want to go to Miami, but I hear the humidity is pretty bad. I'm like, I don't know if I can handle that. So if you know anything about a Brazilian blowout, let us know. If in any the of comments. you have tried or like even. Products that will, won't, no, they don't even work. I have tried products. so many anti-frizz products. It's honestly frustrating at this point. None of them work. Yeah. I would love to hear because I will hundo P try that shit. Like I'm down. Like I'm already Like I'm, down. I'm already sold. Yeah. When she said no more frizz, I was like, sold! Go. Yes! Or anyone that has really shit hair that they <laughs> couldn't find anything <laughs> to anti-frizz them. Yeah. Let us know as well. I'm sorry we've been so ugly and our hair has been terrifying in this video. Yeah. But you know what? That's why I didn't include any hair. Everybody products. has their days. <laughs> Everybody has their days. Yeah. I don't want Hannah saying that song about us. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's been real. So real. I'm so freaking real. See you on the next one. Adios, bitachos. <laughs>